What is up everybody? It is me Devil Never Cry and we are back with another brief video on Nier Replicant. This time going over weapon switching and one thing you can change up in-game. In fact, I implore all of you who are watching this video to change up this setting in-game uh, to make weapon switching smooth and seamless. Now I didn't cover weapon switching in my previous combat video simply because it's not unlocked by default. You're gonna have to play quite a ways to unlock this ability. In fact, it's only unlocked uh, in the second half of the game after a specific major event uh, and I didn't include it for fear of spoiling people. That video is aimed at beginners, no doubt people who are new to the game uh, who hadn't seen much of the game so I didn't want to spoil anything and that's why we're making this separate video. So, as I'd mentioned, you get to a specific point and uh, boom, all of a sudden you get access to all three weapon types and you get access to weapon switching. Great, right? Well, it's not so great by default because it's set to hold to switch. For example, if you're on your, uh, your two-handed sword and you want to switch to your one-handed sword, you're going to have to press and hold down on the D-pad for a substantial amount of time uh, to get the change to happen. There's a delay, it's clunky, it doesn't feel good to use, and it does not feel responsive whatsoever. If you try and skirt around this by just tapping the button, what will happen is you'll bring up an in-game menu uh, which is yeah insanely disruptive, stops the flow of the game completely as you literally stop time to scroll through whatever weapon you want to pick. Uh, and it's just not fun. So what you want to do is you want to immediately head on over into the options menu. In fact, this is the first thing I looked for when I unlocked this ability because it, it honestly felt terrible. Off into the options menu, go onto the game tab, scroll past all the nonsense and go immediately to weapon quick switch. It's on hold by default. I don't know what Toy Logic or Square Enix were thinking by having this set to hold as default, but just change it to tap, just Im immediately, before you do anything else. Uh, and all of a sudden, weapon switching is now responsive. There is no delay, things feel smooth, you're able to change mid-combo, and things feel great. And if you want that big old menu to pop up, if you want to change to a specific weapon, for example, if you've got those mad word edits on it, for example, for farming or whatever, uh, you can press and hold the button and it'll bring it up. Uh, still giving you the same accessibility, uh, but it just means that during frenetic combat, you can swap to whatever you want, whenever you want, at the press of a button, as opposed to holding it for half a year and waiting for your protagonist to change weapons as the shades whip out a bottle of booze and a chair as they wait for the protagonist to uh, to get done with whatever it is they're bloody doing. Anyway, I digress. I just wanted to make this quick video to help people uh, because it really does make the combat feel a lot better. If you enjoyed the video, do be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing because there's more near content on the way. And with all that said and done, it has been me, Devil Never Cry. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. And as always, I'll see you all next video. Thank you.